Hey guys, so last night I went to the Eve 6 show and it was my first Eve 6 show way, way long overdue. I've been wanting to see them from the, since the 90s and I know they played last year in Boston but I was in the hospital getting my chemo treatments and of course, again, I'm in remission now. So I got to go last night, which I was super excited about. And I know like one previous time, maybe it was like the year before or something, they played like this random like block party in like Everett or something. And I missed that too, I don't know why. So I was like, I have to go. Because you never know when, you know, bands are gonna like not play anymore or break up or you know, pass away, hate to say that, but that did happen one time that I wanted to see the Cranberries. Anyways, a couple of things about the show, just like a little like suggestions. So first of all, they didn't have like any opening bands, which I feel like no nobody really cared anyways that was there because everyone was just there to see Eve 6, but I mean, that's kind of like a normal part of a show, just to have like opening bands to support you. Because I think it was around like 7 p.m. last night where I saw a post from Eve 6 and they're like, we're going on at 8 p.m. tonight, early show guys. And I was like, oh my god, okay, I gotta like wrap this up, like head out the door like right now. Thankfully I made it in time. Because I was planning on leaving at 8 because I didn't think they were going to play until later. So that was number one, and number two, they didn't even have like a merch table. There was no like merch table there selling like their stuff, and it would have been like cool to have like an arra arrangement of like, you know, CDs, records, stickers, pins, stuff like that. You could have guys made, could have made like so much more money by like selling whatever people didn't have. Like I maybe wanted like a sticker or something to put on my wall. You could have made more money if you wanted to, but it, I feel like maybe you're not in it like for the money part and you're just like in it to like have fun and play, which is like cool too, you know? But I'm just saying, you could have, you could have made more money from, you know, a merch table and if you had supporting acts show up too, then you could have made more money that way because I feel like the club was only, it wasn't even like super like packed. I feel like it was only like half full and you could have made it like, you know, super packed or even like sold out. But that's why you need like a merch girl or, you know, somebody to organize and make sure you have like supporting bands that people will show up for too. I'm available to tour. So, you know, it doesn't even have to be like, you know, I'm available for like a week or like one tour or whatever, but that would be cool. And you know, these 90s bands, they're going to be like doing reunion tours. It's going to have a big comeback really soon because I was born in the 80s and I know about 80s reunion tours, okay? I've been to plenty of them, but now it's going to start with the 90s soon too so we can make it like even bigger <sighs> but that's all i'm gonna say so if you haven't seen eve six check them out watch some youtube videos buy their cds and tell me what your favorite song is okay so, because my favorite song by them is think twice so let me know and stay cool guys okay i'll see you again and hopefully I get to meet you this time, okay? Because I was really sad that I didn't get to meet them. But I hope I will soon. Alright, bye. And also, they did announce that they are going to be on tour again next year playing Horoscope in its entirety. So, one other thing that there was this guy that kept shouting out, play Victoria. And I, I feel like... I did want to hear that song too, but maybe next time they'll play it for like an encore song or something. So I'm looking forward to it. Hope to hear from them.